There she is, looking gorgeous. Oh, the cow's running after me. My God, my heart. <laughs> Good morning beautiful people. Today is the day where I'm going to head from Penrith Bay and head all the way around the coastline over to the stack there and then carry on to Hollyhead. You should be able to see there's a big uh, sea liner there and then the sort of the mound behind it that's like south stack i'm going to walk all the way around it it's roughly about 14 miles that is the plan and let me just double check it's 6 19 in the morning thursday the 28th of april time to get a move on oh i'm gonna to have to talk tent issues with you in a minute it's not the tent it's at the inside of the tent so i bought this special piece of equipment to put over my sleeping bag basically to stop my sleeping bag getting wet because it's down if it gets down it loses its warm properties my sleeping bag is still getting damp wet and it's like i've already got this protective layer over it and i don't understand how the water is seeping through because it's meant to be waterproof so i need to have a little thing and then also on the right hand side where i sleep like the tent has started to sag and it now touches my head so i'm not actually wearing my um my hood on my jacket on my uh, down jacket because that's damp as well so i've got a lot of wet stuff packed up wet tent bottom part of my seam bag is wet the hoodie the hood of my down jacket is wet so i need some sunshine today to get everything dried out <coughs> It's all right, sheep. I'm leaving. Oh, the cow's running after me. Yeah. <laughs> Do I go into a different field? Do I keep on walking? Oh, no. My God, my heart. <laughs> I think they're back. Oh, go away, cows. I don't like you here. Okay, that's a little scary. Uh, at least they're over. I'll just, I'm just checking that field to make sure there's not any stragglers. Okay, let's keep on walking. So I think they must think it's feeding time because when I, when I came over here, they all ran to me. <laughs> So what's pretty cool is that I've just reached the causeway back here, which I'm going to cross over to head down to Hollyhead. Now there's actually two routes when you come to the causeway. You can either take the inland route, which is the route I actually took this time, and you follow. But last time I actually took the coastal, we actually took the coastal route when I was with Alex. So when we came off the causeway, we headed right, right along the coast, but that wasn't an option this time due to the water. If you are following along with the Sincero guidebook, there is a, I'm using the first edition, the second edition is out on the 29th of April 2022. I'm currently walking through the Pen Ross Coastal Nature Reserve. It is 9.30 in the morning, I've done 8.7 miles already, 17,900, 17,917 steps, which is awesome. However, it's not quite as warm as it normally is, so that's hence why I'm still wearing my down jacket. It just has not warmed up yet this morning. Talking of gluttony, I've just had the most amazing idea. If I get a wrap, cover it in Nutella, and then sprinkle salted peanuts on top, and then roll it in a wrap, that's almost like a homemade Snickers bar. I think that sounds amazing. What do you think? Let me know. Still trying to maintain my pull-up fitness. That was two almost in a row. Because I, I find when I'm hiking, I lose all my upper body strength. And I have, trust me, over the past like six, seven months, I've been working so hard 
on like my bench press, my dumbbell bench press, pull-ups, my back muscles, and I just don't want to lose all this strength. So I just walked down that road behind me and then you can see there's like that welcome sign up there which which i've just filmed now i think this area is a little bit tricky because the direction you actually want to go this is just from past experience is that way now you wouldn't you can actually see on that lamp post there is there is that little sign but really they should have something here saying go to go to your right in town what i need to do is i need to refill water Maybe try and get some breakfast, do a very quick sort of food resupply, post on Instagram, and then leave ASAP. Do not get sucked into the vortex. Popped into the co-op to do my resupply. I do not know how I spent 26 pounds in there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I also did throw in a couple of chocolate bars. <gasps> Peanuts for my Nutella and peanut butter wrap. That's gonna be good. Cheers to being healthy. This may look familiar to some of you. This is actually the official start and finish of the Anglesey Coastal Path. So we're just going to walk through these gates. And on the right hand side, just behind me, is the sign yay so i've just entered the church and i've been speaking to a lovely lady called jill and jill is going to correctly pronounce it for us all so jill would you like to say what is how do you pronounce the name of the church it's saint cubbies saint cubbies am i saying it right yes yes brilliant I've got chatting with jill and barbara both lovely ladies so saint cubbies I'm, I dread to think, I'm just thinking back to when I was with Alex, if, um, if, I, if I probably said like St. Sibis, St. Sibyls, apparently the sea used to come up all the way up to these walls and these are Roman walls. We're going to carry on walking around the church here and we're going to go through that gate over there. Mini update for you, left the church, following the signs, leaving Hollyhead, resupply food, visited the church, St. Cubby's, uh, refilled my water, which I did in the bathroom, been to the toilet, tick, 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 drinking my innocent smoothie. I've had two bananas and now I'm absolutely freezing. Why did I stop? Oh, okay, let's get moving. This bench may look a little familiar. This is where I took a lot of awesome photos and it used to be on my YouTube banner when I walked around with Alex. It looks super different now because they've chopped all the vegetation down. So it's not quite as amazing as it was last time I was here, but it's but it is still an absolutely beautiful bench. Hollyhead in the distance. I've walked all the way around, past that bench, up these steps, and that is where we are heading. So you can see the white house in the background. We're then gonna head up and then over the other side, and then we're gonna come to the lighthouse. We're coming to, to the top, and what you're gonna find is you're gonna find lots of these like wooden posts here. Now, normally there will be signage for the Anglesey Coast Path, signage for the Wales Coast Path, probably here, here and here. However, what I have been told, apparently somebody doesn't like the fact that there are signposts helping walkers to get to the next place. And so they come round and remove them. Very frustrating, just something to bear in mind when you, when you come up this way, that it's not gonna be that easily signposted. Another empty post. <laughs> <laughs> but in the background you can see South Stack, the lighthouse. I was trying to do it from memory. I was thinking that we came down this way and went around, but actually I think we have to go up that way. It's all very confusing. Do you know what I would love to know is, I really want to try and understand the person who removes the signage. What are the benefits? What are they hoping to achieve? Because I honestly can't think of 
why? Like, why wouldn't they want walkers here? Like, are they trying to protect the area? Are they trying to protect the wildlife? Are they trying to protect the nature? What are your thoughts? What do you think about the signage being removed? I mean, is this something that you would do? <laughs> can you can you think of a reason why? I'm I'm struggling. Like, I literally cannot see any benefits of having that signage removed. Another one ruined. I mean, which way should we go? That is Hollyhead Mountain, 220 meters. I keep talking about how confusing it is up here and it's not just me because I just bumped into two other people who are having the same problem. This is actually a really nice path to follow along now. It should just continue like this. There she is, looking gorgeous. Hello, Lighthouse. Hello, South Stack. Woo! So, gonna be carrying on down that way. But it's honestly, it's, it's not too much further. It's uh, quarter past three, 38,104 steps. And I have done 18.4 uh, miles, according to my watch. Views, enjoy. Thank you for watching the Tough Girl YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We have new vlogs going live every Wednesday and Friday at 7 a.m. UK time. So subscribe, watch, be transported to beautiful places like this.